This is the beginning of a new World Lopet adventure and this weekend will be a sporting one. Get ready. Ski Planet is presented by Montaigne du Jura, the official Nordic destination in France. Hello skiers, my cross-country skiing passions bring me today to Czech Republic, to the Liberec region. And it's the village of Berdrichov who welcomes one of the most famous sporting events in the country, the Gizerska 50. I hope you are ready and motivated to live a sports weekend. I will indeed bring you into the heart of this incredible event. I will go to a glass factory to learn more about the glass work here in the Crystal Valley. Then I will race the 25 km classics of the event and I bring you with me. On Sunday, the main race will take place and I'm looking forward to feel the atmosphere. But first, I think you understood, we start with the sprint race. Today, I bring you with me to discover the Crystal Valley. Glass is the identity and essence of this region, which truly belongs here since the 17th century. On more than 70 kilometers, you can find a lot of glass factories and actually can visit some of them. We've been to the glass factory of Arashov. This place is really impressive and you can see really closer how they work. Everything is handmade and hundreds of glasses are made here every day. Everything starts with a drawing, then the main shape the glasses. They cool down, go on the polishing, cleaning and then finishing to give them the perfect texture to finish on your most beautiful tables. I had the chance to blow the glass and it was a great experience. I recommend you to come take a tour in here. Then, we've been to a Christmas decoration factory. Everything is also made with glass and by hand. From small glass tubes, artisans make beads. The machines used are very old and the know-how is really traditional. It's hard to see, but the numbers of steps to get to a final product is impressive. You see? It's definitely not possible to come to this region without visiting the Crystal Valley. After this cultural experience, I propose you to go in another continent, to China, to discover the Vasalopet China. See you after that for my race. On January 4th, the 18th edition of the Vasalapa China was held in the south suburb area of Changchung in Jiling province. This year the surroundings were covered by natural snow, but as usual the stunning snow sculptures in the arena and the tracks were made using artificial snow.
The participants, for the first time over 1,000 coming from 30 nations, entered their starting blocks while the opening ceremony was held on the main stage. Olympic champion and chief of competition Bjorn Lindt shot the gun for the joint start of the 50, 25 and 2.5 kilometer starting groups. China University Cross Country Skiing Championships were included on the 25 kilometer distance and a total of 153 college students took part. As you can see, the weather conditions were great. Blue skies and sunny with a temperature of about minus five degrees Celsius. This was my first time here in Vasloppe, China. Uh, the tracks were very fine and the atmosphere here in the stadium and around was great. And uh, I'm happy to go back next year. Very good race. This is the same thing. I feel it's better than last year. And it's better than last year. And it's A je odstartováno Hermes Jezemská, 25. Právě teď odstartovala Jan Štátar se v marketingu Hartního Fontana. I am searching for downhill, please. Thank you. Landscape is uh, amazing, but it's tough, really tough. Look at this. Oh, wow. it's incredible. Look at this, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Oi. <laughs> How is it? Hi, hi. <laughs> Gisela Montaigne, you make me smile. It's so cool out there. So nice. So guys, I'm really happy with uh, the first race of the season. The track was wonderful. The weather is perfect. Actually, uh, the atmosphere is really great. And I will check with other racers if they have the same idea. And yeah, let's see. C'était c'était super bien parce que c'était la première fois que je fais une course aussi longue. It was my fifth fifth time that I tried, and today the the uh, the snow was perfect, the the vags and all the atmosphere, fantastic. Oh well, the race was uh, brilliant. The, the uh, snow was really fast. I enjoyed it more than last time. The race was perfect. The ski was uh, very uh, very good, and actually uh, the weather was perfect and 
everything was fine. You were waiting for this Jesus K50, it's now. Can you talk to me about the history of the race? Uh, the history of the race started in 1968. Uh, uh, as many good ideas, it arose from a bet in a, in a pub at a beer. Uh, when 15 mountaineers having a beer, they uh, made a bet who will be the quickest on the route from Bedzikov to uh, Izerka and back. Uh, then the history was framed by a tragical uh, event uh, when 15 of these mountaineers in 1970 uh, were trying to get to Huascaran and uh, they were struck by the earthquake and uh, stone avalanche and they all died there. And from 1971, the race is taken part as their memorial. Can you talk to me uh, quickly about the area and uh, the track here? Where are we? Uh, we are in a beautiful setting of uh, Izerske Hory. Uh, which are on the borders with Germany and Poland, so it's very close to, uh, from both countries to get here. Uh, and uh, the, the track is quite demanding. There is nearly one kilometer uh, height difference between the start and, uh, and, the, and the finish. We have also shorter tracks. Uh, the shortest track is, for, uh, is at uh, 10 kilometers and, uh, and it's uh, for everybody. There are a lot of things to do in the starting area. Follow me. You're uh, the representative of World Lopet. Can you talk to me about it? I guess uh, you all know already World Lopet. That is uh, basically uniting uh, skiers uh, with the passion for marathon skis since uh, 1978. And uh, we are here supporting all the, the skiers that want to travel, ski around the world, and that have a passport. It is a very a special passport with all the 20 races in it. And uh, when you complete a race, you get a stamp, like your, uh, your pride, black and white. And when you complete 10 of them, you become a, a master. That's a, a great honor to, to complete 10. And if you complete all of them, you are a global skier. So it's even more challenging and interesting, yeah. It was a tough race today. The start was really fast, but the landscape were really beautiful during the race. Very nice, beautiful today. Yeah, it was great, perfect. I'm quite satisfied. It's, it was okay. Ah, uh, it's amazing, and you know about how it's sunny and it's great. And uh, it was. I had a very good ski. Not so often here, uh, so I enjoyed a lot. Thank you Gizarska50 for this beautiful weekend. See you next week for a new episode and get ready, we go to Canada. Ski Planet was presented to you by Montaigne de Jura, the official Nordic destination in France.